Good morning class. So what we will have next is the orientation of your transit. Orientation to the magnetic south or magnetic north uh, and also orientation on a known point. Okay? So before we orient, of course, uh, na i na i banggit ko na dun sa previous video kung paano siya ikalagay dito na. So we have here in this particular case since wala tayo sa local ground or sa isang field then dito tayo sa terrace namin. So I have here a triangular platform which keeps the uh, tripod stable. Okay? Wait. So basically uh, hanggang dito lang tayo sa terrace namin mag magkakaroon ng activity. Okay? So you have here your plumb line. Again, your plumb line will tell the station occupied by your instrument. Okay? So you have here naman after setting up your uh, ito, your your instrument to your tripod so basically the next step before anything else is to let your uh, tangent screws or your upper and lower clamp loose okay so that they can they can move okay next is after having those uh, clamps open okay next thing to do is to orient or to make sure that these bubbles here are at the center okay the bubble there and the bubble here okay so uh, for us to have a uh, para hindi natin ma stress gaano yung instrument ang bay, ang gagawin natin is yung tripod ang i-adjust natin to approximately place that bubble at the center okay and then afterwards we make use of these screws for uh, incremental adjustments okay so basically what i would do is to um wait lang uh, have this bubble to be adjusted by this tripod or this leg of the tripod and this, this bubble to be adjusted by these two legs of the tripod. What I would do is to align this particular bubble with this leg and then this bubble with these two legs such that yung adjustment natin dun sila mangyayari sa movement ng legs na yan. Okay, so to adjust, okay, basically tatapakan mo to. Okay, you step on this one. Okay, malapit ka na ulit. And then <laughs> uh, you you unscrew this one and then you make the adjustment. Okay? Lapit mo siya. So pag inunscrew ko siya tapos inadjust ko, okay? So you make the necessary movement. Kung papasok siya pag binababa mo, ibig sabihin it is on the opposite direction. Okay? So incremental lang yung pag aangat natin and then pag approximately nandoon na siya sa gitna, you lock that one. Okay? Next is dun sa kabila. Okay? is to open this again, step on that one, and then open the, or loosen the screw for your, uh, ito, your tripod, and then, iangat lang natin siya, adjust na adjust, until such time, gumit na. Okay? Okay. So, after which, wait lang, dito naman tayo mag adjust ulit. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you try to focus your attention here, okay, medyo nagitna na natin yung bubble niya, no? Okay? So, what we would do next is to make use of these screws to adjust your uh, bubble. Okay? So, basically, this screw, with these two screws here are paired, okay? Which would uh, help us adjust the bubble here. And then, these two screws here are paired to adjust the bubble for this one. Okay, so they make sure that they are parallel with each other. This screw is parallel with this one. This is screws are parallel with this one. Okay, so adjust lang natin siya. Okay, nahuhuling i-adjust ito kasi para hindi ma-stress yung ating uh, tag ito, instrument. Okay, so pag gitna na yan, yung kabila naman, Okay, and then to check, ikot mo siya. Okay, oh, so gitna na silang dalawa. Ah, may konting adjustment pa tayo doon. Wait lang, balik lang natin. Oops, yan. Okay, so maybe hindi siya ganun ka-calibrated. Okay, so basta approximately dapat may ilagay mo siya sa gitna and then pag inikot mo siya, then the bubble should stay at the middle. That tells us that your plate here is oriented now horizontally. Next is, of course, if you were to orient your um, 
orient your transit to the magnetic north. Of course, you loosen this one. Nasaan yung screw na yan? Ito. You loosen this screw to uh, let the uh, tag dito. To let the compass uh, spin freely. Okay? Of course, that would point to the magnetic north. Yung copper wire, again, that one is pointing to the south. Next is to where is the one? To have this one, letter A. If you try to focus on the, your attention to this part, you have here letter A. You have a pointer. Yung letter A na yan, ilalagay natin sa 0, 0. Okay? So, lock your upper clamp. Lock your upper clamp. And then, you make, you make the necessary adjustment making use of your tangent screw. Okay? So, if you try to focus this one, your attention on the tangent screw and this one. Okay? Makikita natin na magkakaroon ng incremental adjustment. Dapat yung 0, 0 doon magkatapat. Another way of checking is yung 20, nakikita nyo dito, yung 20 doon, at saka yung 20 doon should be aligned with the uh, reading opposite to it. Okay? Opposite to that. Okay? So, pag-oriented na siya, ay kapag halimbawang naka-align na yung 0, 0, okay? Then you, can, you may now orient it to the magnetic north or magnetic south. Okay? By simply locking that one, and then close, and then since nakalus pa yung ating lower clamp, yun yung gagamitin natin para i-orient siya sa magnetic north. Clockwise rotation, you have here, magnetic north. Okay? So, lock it. I-lock nyo siya sa kwan. Pag halimbawang nakapoint na siya sa north, at incremental adjustment na lang ang kailangan natin, ilalock mo ngayon dun sa lower clamp, and then you may do necessary adjustment sa using your tangent screw. Okay? Now, kung halimbawang okay na siya dun sa ating compass, nakalock na yung lower clamp, that's the time you can now open your upper clamp, then make it, uh, let's say, having a foresight view. Okay? Again, this one is a foresight position. This one is on a backsight position. Okay? So, foresight, and then you may now sight whichever station uh, observed is to be observed. Okay? So, that is how you orient your um, target of your transit to your magnetic south. Now, if ever uh, mag, halimbawa may magpapasurvey sa inyo, and then let's say for example, meron siyang given data dun sa kanyang titulo, then basically what you need to do is to um, place, okay, place the necessary data here, okay, in your uh, vernier caliper, okay, in your vernier, and then that's the time you can, let's say, uh, ang data natin is 100, um, 200, let's say, adjust lang natin, you know? uh, 10 degrees, okay, for example, 10 degrees, yeah, 10 degrees, and then you try to backside on that particular angle, the backside is on that particular, kunin mo yun, no? yung, yung, on that particular stadjarad. Stadjarad. Ayun. Stadjarad natin is yung uh, yung yellow tapos yung white. Hindi yung walis tambo. Okay? So, uh, I would cite my, I would put this on backside, uh, backside na position. And then, isa, iba backside ko siya. Okay? Lock everything. Pag na-cite ko ng ganun, sa site ko siyang ganyan. And then, do the necessary adjustment. Huwag na huwag mong gagalawin yung upper clamp. Ang gagalawin mo dito is lower clamp kasi nag-orient ka pa lang. So, pag na-site mo na siya, you lock the low, uh, lower clamp and then do the necessary incremental adjustment. Once you have done the necessary adjustment and then your instrument is aligned with your uh, backside position or your backside point, then that's the time you may now open your clamp, upper clamp, and then you do your foresight. Okay, so that is how we orient our uh, transit. Okay? Yeah.